Let's look back at 2015 by looking at the top 10 plays from the calendar year. Number 10, Boys Volleyball against Lemonster, Algonquin Student Television Network alum Brendan Ford with a ferocious spike deflects behind the Algonquin bench as the boys would win that match 3-1. We go to number 9, Softball against Wachusett. Maddie Collins retreating into shallow center for a short fly ball. Goes off her glove, juggles it, but stays with it to make the grab. Great play there, but the girls would lose to the Mountaineers 7-6. Number eight, boys soccer against Fitchburg. Zach Ossetek with a 30-yard strike just gets in the net over the goalie into the net for the goal. Great play by Ossetek, and the boys would win 10 to nothing. We go to number seven, the compilation of game winners. We start with girls basketball in the varsity doubleheader against Shrewsbury. Caroline Leonard with the game-winning layup to win it for the girls, 35-33. Then in the next game, Jason Truax plays hero as Joe Wallace kicks it out to him for a baseline jumper that gets the friendly roll, gets to the basket. They would win 55-53. And lastly, in December, the Burroughs Cup Championship against Wachusett for boys hockey. In double overtime, Justin O'Connell, right place, right time. He gets it in the net. That would be all they need as the boys get the win 1-0 in their first Burroughs Cup Championship since 1999 over to number six baseball against Neshoba Charles Gallagher's pitch hit in the right field but look at Eric Hart diving and making a terrific play robbing a base hit as the boys would win the game five to one we go to number five boys lacrosse against Tantasqua Mike Martin with a great spin and a laser shot top shelf in the net for the goal what a play by then junior Mike Martins and the boys would win that game 16 to 10 over Tantasqua. Number four is football against Shrewsbury. Ryan Berry on the play action, sending it deep for Gavin Boyden, and he makes the grab one-handed, left-handed, while being held. What a play by Boyden. He had a tremendous year, and the boys would win 28 to seven. Number three is girls varsity lacrosse against Agawam, Juliet Chapin on a wraparound behind the back shot for the goal at the end of the game. What a way to end it as they would win 19 to seven. We go to number two, boys basketball against Franklin. Jason Truax on the chase down, pins it off the backboard for a tremendous block, but the boys would lose to Franklin 77-72. Number one, the district championship against Wachusett. Off the free kick, Lauren Camarano with a tremendous save to preserve a three to two victory over the Mountaineers that would qualify the girls for the state semi-tournament.